Good morning YouTube, what's happening? It's Nate. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm super excited for it because I am moving home for the summer. Yes, that is the good news that I have for you guys today. But I'm also super, super excited for you guys because I get to focus on my YouTube channel and I get to put a lot of great content out there for you guys. Sorry, the echo today is horrible. I've got everything packed up. I am ready to go, ready to load everything up in the... I don't have a car. Yeah, so that's the weird catch about this whole trip home, is that unfortunately we were not able to get the Audi finished, uh, as you guys will know in upcoming videos. So, we're going to tow it home on my buddy's trailer. So today's going to be a great vlog of towing the Audi home on a trailer, what it is like to ride in an older Chevy, in a 1998 Chevy, I think it's a 2500 extended cab long bed with the 454. So I'm super excited for you guys to meet my buddy to talk about that a little bit and to uh, just travel home with you guys. I mean, it's going to be fun. We haven't done a road trip in a while. And uh, having that said, yeah, so uh, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe for more great content. Hope you enjoy this video and let's jump into the road trip. So we're sitting here in traffic, just ready to leave Rexburg, but we want to show you guys how crazy it is when all of the college students flee town. So that's all the parents coming in and we're waiting in line to get on the interstate. Okay, so here's the Audi. There's the truck. Loaded up with all of our stuff. And that's our jack, so we're somehow going to put that under here. So because he's an expert backer, we did get it all hooked up. And we're quite ready to roll out. We're going to throw a few things in the Audi, then we're going to head out and hit the road. We're in the middle of the state of Idaho, heading back to Wyoming. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the road. We are probably like 50 miles away a small town in Montana called Ennis. We've driven what, like 70 miles? 86, 86 miles. miles? 86 miles. And uh, we're in a Chevy with the 454 big block engine. And uh, we filled up before we started, and that's our gas gauge right now. So yeah, we will definitely be filling up in a small town in Montana before we get to Bozeman. And then we have like, what, another six hours ish? Uh, no, probably more than four hours. Four hours from Bozeman. Four hours from Bozeman. So, yeah, this is going to be a fun trip. Uh, this will be our second time at a gas station, and it won't be our last. And uh, it's super windy right now, so it definitely won't be our last. No, we did not run out of gas. We're here at a junction. You know, I can never remember what they call this junction, but we're in Montana, in the middle of nowhere, and we're just checking the straps. And we're a little loose on this side. That's the eight. Of course, the semi comes by. That's okay. Get before you later, guys. <laughs> Perhaps a town that has never been featured on YouTube. Most likely it has. <laughs> I, there's no sign. Where's the no sign? We passed it already. Oh, we passed the sign. But we're in Ennis. Ennis Cafe is coming up. We're gonna get gas. Oh yes, look. Here's the Ennis Cafe. Is that building new? The town pump there? Is that new? Gas is 268 here. When we filled up in Rigby it was what, 247? Mm -hmm. Things are going good. Um, I mean, we're in a Chevy. It's pulling amazing. Doesn't get the best fuel economy for sure, but it's the job done. Oh yeah, big time. I didn't open that first. Yeah, there it goes. It's very slow. We've driven 136 miles. We've only driven 136 miles. We've just put 13 and a half gallons in the tank. We had a total of 10 miles to the gallon, so we're actually doing really good. Dude, this thing pulls so nice. Yeah, that's a little cheesy. So we made it 
Bozeman, and we're gonna sit down for some BK. Filming yourself eating? I got the angry whopper. Mm. You crazy vloggers. 7.30. Say so we're going to be home in about four hours. Everyone calls him. Everyone calls him when they have car problems. He's the go-to guy. He's the upcoming car wizard. Yeah, that's right. Alrighty. I can start my own YouTube channel. You should, yeah. We're out of Bozeman, four hours from home. He's trying to make my camera tip over. <laughs> it's 7.43 and we thought that this would be a good portion of the video to talk about the truck that we're driving in. This is a 1998 GMC Sierra 2500 extended cab long bed. Have to hand it to Chevy to be super clever with the names. Uh, perhaps they weren't, but the trucks are amazing. This thing's a beast, hands down. I've talked about older Chevys in previous videos, and I'm gonna feature them in future and upcoming videos. I grew up in these trucks, I love them. They're what got me interested in trucks, so. Briefly, we'll just give you guys kind of a quick look, and I'll have a more complete review in the future. Uh, but the 98 has the updated interior with the old 90s body style. They ride like a dream, they pull like a dream. This thing's got the 7.4 liter Vortex engine. It's uh, putting out about, what did it say, 290 horsepower? Yeah. We're still debating on that, perhaps it could be a little more, but sadly it's only got a four speed transmission, so it's three gears with overdrive. It likes to shift a little bit when it's pulling, but really you can barely feel the trailer behind you on the flats. Of course you get a nice rev going uphill, but uh, everything within tolerable limits. These old Chevy trucks are practically indestructible. This one that we're in has about 150,000 miles on it, but I've seen them upwards of 400,000, and it's really hard to find one of these uh, with under 200,000 miles. Still very good and very spendy trucks, but they're definitely a great starter vehicle or just a great all-around truck if you want something to last you really a lifetime, whether that's a work truck or for a personal driver. Now they typically get good gas mileage if you have the 5.3 liter small block Chevy or the 5.7 350. Um, if you do the 454 or the 8.1 liter, course you're gonna get worse we're super happy we've been getting like 10 miles to the gallon so we're gonna do our third fill up in Columbus here and uh, yeah so hopefully hopefully we'll do our third fill up in Columbus we might not make it and on that note snow well we are at our third fill up of the day on our trip home in another small town in the middle of Montana called Columbus it is dark outside. Luckily, it's pretty lit up here at the station. And it did snow on us for a little bit. Say, so fortunately, the roads are pretty clear, so that's good. Um, other than that, we've got the Audi safe and sound tucked away on the trailer. And uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of keep driving. The road that we're going on right now is pretty curvy, and there are known to be a lot of deer on it. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. And honestly, we're doing all right. So just a long day. We got slightly worse miles to the gallon but we're also on the interstate the entire time nine miles to the gallon it's actually not bad for this truck with the engine considering that the load we're pulling is about four thousand pounds well i'd say a little more a little probably more. like four and a half thousand pounds actually i'd say closer to 5500 because the trailer you got i guess the truck the car is about what 3500 maybe five and a half thousand pounds in the back of us probably all together close to ten thousand pounds with the truck so yeah it's doing all right I'm sure that you can't even really see me. We just rolled into my house. It's very dark. I may have fallen asleep during the last little bit, and then we may have got talking and just kind of forgot to film things. So like I said, it is pretty dark. Uh, we just pulled into my driveway. We parked the truck. I am now going to unload all of my stuff, all of my school stuff, and uh, just kind of settle in for the night. My buddy's going to take the car down to his house. We're going to put it in his grandpa's old shop. So he'll actually... 
uh, just kind of park it for the night and then tomorrow morning we'll unload it. So that kind of concludes this portion of our vlog slash uh, video update with the Audi and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, hope everyone's doing well. Last night we got in super late, so we quickly unpacked. But this morning I'm gonna go ahead and head over to Auto. It's about 10, 15 minutes away to my buddy's house to help him unload the car. We're gonna clean out his shop, get the shop set up, and get the car ready to continue work once I get a special tool that I'll talk about later today. I'm super excited to be back with the F-150. So here's a cold startup on that. lives on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere and we're kind of on it right now just cruising there is actually a car behind me but just so you guys see this is Wyoming and my buddy lives kind of out here here at my buddy's house there is the Audi well here we go so to be honest I don't know where we're going and I don't know how we're gonna get the Audi off the trailer. And yeah. But the moment has come to push the Audi off the trailer. Are we in line? We've got the Audi off the trailer. Now we've got to put it in there. Man, it doesn't turn very sharp, does it? Well, of course I didn't get it the rest of the way. It's got to go over like a little dip. Shop was quite filthy when we got here. I'm gonna help him push. Okay, ready? Okay, okay, okay. This will be interesting. So this is after our trip, we're going to lift the Audi. This is what the engine bay looks like from our trip from Idaho and I can show you guys all of the parts of the inside. There's uh, yeah, there's parts in there, stuff to work on here, and then those are the ruts we made from pressure washing the shop and then pushing it in. And then here are more parts. Since it is an extensive job we're doing, we're going to put it up on all four jack stands. The cool thing about the A8 is the lift points are pretty accessible. But yeah guys, this thing's a mess. I'm going to talk about it, or you probably already watched my video on it in the past about what we've done. Today we're just going to put it in the service position and lift it up high so we can continue doing the timing job. I'm going to help, so. So we've got the car up on all four jack stands and we're actually going to stop for today when we come back I'll teach you guys how to put it in the service position that's all we are going to do on the car today so stay tuned guys for some more great Audi content with the 1999 Audi A8 Quattro let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below please I read and try to respond to every single comment right now so go ahead and drop me a comment I had a really good time and a lot of fun making this video for you guys uh, it's definitely been an adventure I can tell you that it's been so much fun with this car trying to get all of its little quirks worked out uh, I've been able to learn so much from it and unfortunately I haven't been able to film a lot of content on it, but being back home, I can now film content for you guys. So stay tuned to my channel, subscribe if you haven't already. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey,